County School District opted to stop participation in a nationwide CDC survey this year, the Youth Risk Behavior Survey. It analyzes student health and wellness. It asks students if they've experienced sexual violence or suicide. In a letter sent by the Florida Department of Education to the Orange County Public School District, officials wrote, and I quote, an inflammatory and sexualized survey is not in the best interest of Florida students. But the survey results were a reality for many students and also allowed for the CDC to track how students in the state of Florida compare nationwide. This also comes as recently released survey results show a stark decrease in mental health among teenage girls. Our Celeste Springer gives us a look at what many are faced with when it comes to navigating mental health. The goal line is where 12 year old Natalie Quinones finds her escape. Sometimes she finds herself running in circles trying to keep up with assignments. Like I only have a week sometimes to turn it in or a day and it's really difficult. A recent survey by the CDC shows a worrying decline in teen mental health. Over half of teen girls report feeling hopeless, which is up 10% in just two years. For boys, the data only increased by 2%. There are a lot of reasons, but I think one of the main reasons is a lack of social connection. Chantal Abbas is a licensed mental health counselor working with teens all across Central Florida. So in the last 10 years, unfortunately, a lot of that connection um, between peers has been has changed a lot. It's still there, but it's, it's it's limited to a lot of social media. Natalie spends time on her phone playing games. It's a better alternative to scrolling through TikTok. I'd say it brings up a lot of insecurities. I'll say that. Like you see these model girls, so much prettier, different bodies. An analysis by the U.S. Senate found that about a third of girls who spent five or more hours a day on social media experienced depression. But Natalie tries to focus on sports, not the phone, and has a supportive family on the sidelines cheering her on. He's like, go that way! Go, 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 go! <laughs> run, 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 run! What are you doing? And if you don't catch her on the soccer field, you'll find her other outlet is body art. A testament to a girl with the freedom to love the skin she's in. Reporting in Apopka, Celeste Springer, Spectrum News. As for the CDC survey, Orange County recently cut ties with Florida's Department of Education, saying they will continue with a similar survey conducted on their own. Results from before the partnership ended show that the state of Florida, for the most part, aligns similarly to trends nationwide. However, Florida did fall behind in some categories. Comparatively, more Florida students felt unsafe at school, did not use medical contraceptive if sexually active, and were less physically active. Yeah.